What is up guys, Joel Snow right here and today we're talking about Jailbreak. Now Jailbreak has been around since the very first version of iOS, which is iOS 1.x, whatever. And you probably know that in time a lot of tools have been created for accomplishing the Jailbreak procedure. Well, not all of those tools are safe and not all websites prove to be legit. So today we're, we're going to talk about iOS 9.2 jailbreak updates and we're also going to make the difference between a legit website providing true jailbreak solutions and the many many scammers out there. Now first of all uh, there is a uh, a very interesting article in uh, iPhoneHacks.com uh, in which to uh, sum it up Pangu, or Windsnown, which is a uh, very known Pangu core uh, developer, uh, actually tells you to stay on iOS 9.2 if you want a jailbreak. If not, and you're more concerned in security, you should update to 9.2.1. Now, you probably know iOS 9.2.1 is... Um, it's released, it has been released uh, since, I don't know, it's, it's a week or maybe two, I don't know, but, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, the problem is that iOS 9.2 is going to get unsigned, Apple is going to drop the signing window for iOS 9.2 in the next few days and you will no longer be able to downgrade, so what's going on? As you can see, QWERTY OIOP, what the fuck is this name? <clears throat> actually says that he agree with wind known 100% which uh, is updates to um to 9.2.1 if you don't care about jailbreak and stick with on 9.2 if you do now this qwerty whatever is Luca Tedesco I don't know why it, it's shown like that probably this is his name on Twitter but actually Pangu detected, or found if you want, a very interesting kernel uh, bug, kernel exploit on iOS 9.2, which basically makes the, um, the iOS itself very insecure. And um, you should update to iOS 9.2.1 if you are that kind of person that has no idea what jailbreak is and don't care about Cydia and jailbreak at all. Uh, and that only wants the phone to be safe. You should update right now if you didn't, and if you did, you're okay. Uh, also, if you are concerned in um, jailbreak, and you do want a jailbreak soon, stay with uh, iOS 9.2, because due to that exploit, it might have been uh, found something very interesting in this field, and a jailbreak might have... Uh, might pop up soon. This is basically the uh, the issue. How you do that? Well, you need an IPSW. You can do that by going to uh, the iphonewiki.com and after that you click here. This is the main page that will pop out. You don't have to have an account. As you can see, I'm logged in, but you don't have to have an account here. You just click to far more right here and you will be brought to the page about every far more for every device. Here in the contents, you select your device. In my case, it's an iPhone 5. It's not iPhone 5.1, it's 5.2. And I'm gonna show you how to get the difference, how to tell the difference. You just have to um, search by the model, but we're going to talk about that in a few seconds. Here you can see iPhone 5.2 and all the uh, operating systems. But keep in mind that using those IPSWs you cannot downgrade, so don't lose your time getting the 6.0 IPSW from here, because you will not be able to downgrade anyways. Uh, the IPSW has to be signed by Apple, and for the moment Apple still signed 9.2 and 9.2.1 for this device which means that you can click here on the IPSW and save it. And it will actually take for my connection 43 minutes, but I think it's kind of the same for, uh, for all. Now, uh, keep in mind that this uh, iOS 9.2 will get unsigned, the signing window will be dropped by Apple in a few days, and after that you will no longer be able to downgrade to iOS 9.2 if you are on 9.2.1. Of course, if you now, 
If you are now on iOS 9.2 and you haven't up upgraded to 9.2.1, you are not required to download any IPSWs, you just stay to that version. But if you do, if you did and you are on 9.2.1, follow this procedure. You can after that uh, actually try to to restore this IPSW using iTunes. Uh, and probably everybody knows how to how to do that. If not, you just need to open iTunes, press when your phone comes up, press restore and press shift and click to select your own IPSW and that would be very simple. If you don't know how to do that, tell me and I'm gonna make a um, beginner friendly video about it. Well, this is kinda off. So it's confirmed by um, Luca Tadesco that you better stay on iOS 9.2 if you want a jailbreak very soon. Now let's talk a little bit about fakes because there are, there are a lot of websites pretending to be Pangu and Taiji and Luca Tadesco and so on. This english.pangu.io is the only website that Pangu owns. Of course they also own english.8.pangu.io and english.7.pangu.io which looks like this one is the uh, iOS 7 jailbreak 7 and 7.1.2 okay this is the original website but as you can see it's on the same domain and this is for uh, iOS 7 to 7.1.x okay and also the uh, version for iOS 8. Why I'm showing you that? Because many of websites pretending to be the uh, Pangu website and gives you a fake uh, Windows download or Mac download that, that is going to infect your PC with any sort of viruses. This is the original Pangu 8 uh, jailbreak website, english.8.pangu.io. And this is the uh, official Pangu website, the landing page with the iOS 9.2, 9.0.2 jailbreak tools. Okay, so why I'm showing you that again? Let me just show you. You see that this website right here, panguios8.com? Well, this, pan this Pangu website is a total scam. They ask you to pay um, 29 bucks, no, 30 bucks with money back guarantee, which is fake, of course, and 39, uh, no, 40 um, bucks for typo value Pangu jailbreak, which I don't have any idea what is that. And they claim to be jailbreak for any iOS 9.3 to latest, uh, 8.3, sorry, instant CDA download, lifetime membership, unlimited jailbreaks, 24, seven days customer support, easy to uninstall and remove, support, uh, iPhone 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, C, Cinco, and so on. No instant access, no waiting. And this one also provides iPhone factory unlock included. Great deal. Are you sure about that? And they ask you to pay to order jailbreak. Now guys, jailbreak is something that it's free and will never be will never be under a paid product so never ever pay for any jailbreak tool because pangu offers it for free as you can see right here on the um, on those uh, pangu official website if you click on download it brings you to the download right now no paypal no nothing no anything like that so no it's free and will always be free. Never pay for such things uh, because you will get to regret it later and so on. And as you can see, this website is a total mess and so on. This also claims to be compatible with a very big range of iOS, um, which is not true because every time an iOS version appears, a tool is being created or sometimes there are um, versions of iOS that receive no jailbreak, but a simple jailbreak tool cannot cover all versions like this one, because by the time the uh, the tool was created, only one single version uh, was uh, up on the Apple servers, so it's fake. And also there is pangu8.com. 
Now, this Pango8.com is uh, split in two parts. You can have the um, jailbreak iOS 9.0.2 official application. If you click here, it actually brings you to a download, which I don't have any idea if it's fake or not. And um, yeah, but if you click on 9.0.1 and so on, you're being brought to different videos, you're being brought to different things, and you're also being brought to a lot of things that are fake. But as you can see, the landing page right here from pengu8.com, it's kind of the same as official page. Let me show you. You see? Those things right here, those things right here, the Chinese writings seems to be the same. Okay, but it's actually just a photo. This one is not. This one is actually content right here. You can see it's not a photo, but but this one is just a photo. And if you click to download those things, you're probably gonna get some fake tool that we're going to that is going to infect your computer. Now, if you click on iOS 9.1 jailbreak, it's another scam which is called Semi Jailbreak. Now, Semi Jailbreak is something that installs a kind of certificate into your phone by accessing a website. And um, it actually installs two different applications. I don't know why. And if you want to have CDA, you have to pay or donate uh, in order to get it, which is, of course, fake. CDA was never paid, it's free of charge and you cannot simply download it for uh, a amount of money. And this is the problem, never, fall, never fail on this, never fall on this guys, because uh, iOS 9.1 doesn't have any jailbreak right now, iOS 9.2 has no jailbreak, but probably it's, um, it's going to have one and iOS 9.2.1 has definitely no jailbreak so every tool you see claiming they have this jailbreak and it's not english.pango.io or a recognized developer it's a scam now uh, why I'm showing uh, you these things? The reason I'm showing you these things is because at a simple Google search on Pangu iOS 9.1 or iOS 9.2 or iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak, a lot of fake websites are popping out and a lot of ads through Google ads are popping out trying to make you fall and pay money and something like that. So, guys, for the moment there is no jailbreak for this um, for this versions, iOS 9.1, 9.2, and 9.2.1, and iOS 9.3. So don't fall for this scammers. Only trust the official website for Pangu and Taiji, and only download their official tools. Thanks for watching. I really hope it uh, it helped out. Uh, don't forget, if you want to have a uh, iOS 9.2 jailbreak in the future, you better downgrade right now because the signing window will close in a few days and you will no longer be able to um, to downgrade and you will, you will stick to iOS 9.2.1 forever. And this is basically it. Thanks for watching. The, the link for the iPhone wiki is in the description. The link for uh, official Pangu website and official Taiji website is in the description. And also the link for the article from um, the iPhonehacks.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.